Hi, yeah. So I wanted to talk about how anyone who's interested in climate tech, I think the I understand that it can be a really overwhelming kind of a topic to dive into, you know, but I think what's important to realize is like nobody has 20 years of experience, except if you're a scientist or an engineer in that space. And the industry is incredibly welcoming to attracting any kind of talent. So I think that's what I would say to anyone who's interested in this world, that whether you work in sales or kind of accounting or finance, whatever it is, ultimately there are companies out there that are working on big problems that need your kind of talent. And even if you're deciding not to move into a climate tech company, one interesting thing is also that within a company, there always needs to be that person who advocates around climate change. So even when you are working at a bank or any other kind of you know, non-climate tech company, like making your company aware of what's out there and like making them aware of the challenges and what this company could do to get better in terms of carbon accounting or like emission, you know, like expensing your travel and kind of buying carbon credits, whatever it may be, is actually really helpful. Um, so I think that's something that I realized uh, while approaching this industry and that I would encourage everyone to look into. There's a ton of resources and communities organized around getting people access to it. Um, I'm happy to share some of these details as well. Um, yeah, so if you are interested in carbon and in general in climate tech, I think everyone should go for it.